Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and if you're new here, hello and welcome. I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. And today I have a really beautiful muffin recipe for you. We are going to be making white chocolate, macadamia and raspberry muffins. Oh my God, they just sound so good. You could go to a bakery, but these ones I guarantee are gonna taste better and it's so much more satisfying doing it yourself. So let's get to it. So it's probably a little bit more common to find white chocolate and macadamia nuts together in a cookie, but this is a muffin, so we get more of it. They're gonna be super delicious, nice, light and fluffy, and it sounds a little bit gourmet, so they're one of those muffins that, you know, if you've got someone coming over, you wanna impress them, this is a great recipe because it's super easy to make, but it's really nice and impressive as well. Like most muffin recipes, there's actually not too many ingredients, so let me show you what you are gonna need. Okay, so I have some buttermilk here, some self-raising flour, caster sugar, frozen raspberries. This is actually macadamia nut oil. Then I have some white chocolate chips. I just chose the little ones. You can do whatever size you like. An egg and beautiful macadamias. As always, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box below for you and for the full recipe to download and print for free, head to lebonbaker.com. Now, Macadamia nuts are definitely my all-time favorite nut. There's just something about them. They are so delicious. They're probably one of the more naughtier nuts, but oh my gosh, they are my favorite. I'd love to hear what your favorite nut is. Let me know in the comments below. Before we get into the recipe, get your ovens preheated. So we're gonna crank it 200 degrees Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit. You'll also need a mixing bowl. I've got a whisk, a wooden spoon, and a muffin tray here with some cases as well. You just need a muffin uh, tray of six. Okay, let's get straight into it. Grab your flour here and into the bowl we go. And next up, our sugar. We're just gonna give this a really quick whisk just so it spreads nice and evenly. Oop, got a bit excited on my whisk. Next up, grab the two beauties, the white chocolate and the macadamia, throw them in, and we'll just give these a little stir with our spoon. So we're done with this. Ooh, I love the smell of white chocolate. So sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Now at this point, I am going to very gently add in my frozen raspberries here, and I'm just going to give it a very, very short, light, Stir, not too much, just very gently. And we just wanna do it nice and light so that it doesn't bleed. And we don't want mashed raspberries either. Next up, we're going to add the wet ingredients. So just make a little well first in the center here of your dry ingredients. And then we literally just add the remaining ingredients. So we've got the macadamia oil, got the egg, and last but not least, the buttermilk. So from here, give it a stir. Whenever you're combining wet and dry ingredients in baking, you wanna try and not over stir because over mixing makes it not light and fluffy, which is what we want. We want it light and fluffy. So just do it only until just combined. I can't get over this color. It's like pink and red and white. Oh, it's just so beautiful. All right, so now it's time to start spooning out our batter into the tins here. So grab yourself a couple of spoons and start scooping. So when I do my batter scooping, I like to go around, do one spoonful in all of them and then go back and top it up because that way you can see how much you've got left to work with and you can try and make them as even as possible. But even if they look a bit rustic, that is totally fine. And I like nice big muffins, so you can fill yours to the top if you like them big as well. But remember, they do need some room to grow or some height to work with, so don't go too crazy. And I'm interested to know, got me thinking, 
as I was doing this. Out of the three stars of the show here, which are white chocolate, macadamia, and raspberry, what is your favorite ingredient? You have to choose one. You can't choose two. You can't say all of them. Let me know. Is it white chocolate, macadamia, or raspberry? Just before they go in, I am just gonna use the back of my spoon here and lightly just give it a little bit of a, I guess you could say swirl. I just want to make sure that the tops are nice and even, that there's not too much on one side. So just try and even it out, spread it out, and they'll look and cook really beautifully if you do that. Okay, so these are ready to go into the oven. We're going to cook them for about 20 minutes or until they are cooked all the way through and nice and golden on top. So every oven's different. You're gonna have to monitor yours and we will check and rotate them at 10 minutes. Okay friends, while our muffins are baking, you know what time it is. It is time for me to share a really nice quote and I'd like to do this to inspire you in some way or hopefully it will connect you, give you meaning or make you think about things a little bit. So today the quote that I have found for you is, Look ahead 10 years and then work backwards. Make sure every step you take moves you closer to where you wanna be. There's a quote by Anonymous and look, I know 10 years sounds like a long way away and there's a lot that can happen in between now and then, but it is a really good idea to have a plan, be focused and try and navigate your life to where you wanna be because ultimately you wanna end up where you wanna be, not where someone else wants you to be. It's back to baking. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, they smell so good. Yum, 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 yum. All right, let's check them out. Give them the bounce test. Yep, they look pretty good, pretty bouncy. They will continue to cook as well um, while we just let them cool for about five minutes. Just to double check, insert the skewer bring it out and she's clean. So we are good. So now is the hard part. They're just gonna be piping hot. They're gonna be steaming hot. So just let them cool for about five or so minutes. We're gonna give them a little dust with some icing sugar, make them look super pretty, and then we can eat them. Oh my God, I'm so ready to eat one of these. The smell is absolutely insane. My mouth is starting to water and I'm really, really hungry. So we're just gonna give these a little dusting now. As I said, just go around and we're going to give them a little kiss with the icing sugar. Check it out. This looks like a professional bakery style muffin and that's because that's what we are. We are home pros. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it. All right, take this off. Oh, oh, oh. Is that not perfection? Mm -mm -mm. Still warm. And we're gonna crack her open. So I'll go, oh, what am I doing? Ooh, yum, oh my God. Yes, all right, check it out. We have crunchy macadamia nuts. We have ooey gooey jammy raspberry. And then we've got melted white chocolate. The top is nice and toasted. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. And the center is light and fluffy. This is the bomb. So light and fluffy, it's starting to fall apart. Mm, mm, mm. I seriously cannot eat this fast enough. Mm, mm. This is definitely my new favorite muffin. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I know that you will love this recipe. It is honestly 10 out of 10. And if you do like this video, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well because I have a new video coming out every single week and your love and support really does help my channel grow. So thanks for being here and I'll see you again next week.